Hi, well here we are back in Pacific Spirit Park on this slightly overcast, very typical Vancouver day and we are joined by members of the Pacific Spirit Park Society. We've got Joyce Lung, the President, Laura Cottle, Volunteer and Program Coordinator, and Mike Jarowski, a Director with the Society and also a Research Assistant in my, uh, my lab on an affiliated project. So, so this area of, of Acadia Forest was restored by Pacific Spirit Park Society in 2018. So um, what we had to do here was take away all the invasive species and then we were planting native plants. We planted a whole variety of plants from trees, shrubs, and then herbs. So we were um, basically trying to create more biodiversity here and actually bring the forest ahead in its succession. If you can see behind you, you can see lots of trees that are dying. And these are alders. It's actually quite natural. This, the alders have aged out. They're about 60 to 80 years old. And that's about the time when alders do die. Alders are great to have on a site at the beginning when, when there's like empty land here. Um, but uh, we should be having conifers come up in the understory. That's what would typically happen in a, a coastal western hemlock zone, which is where we are. So, unfortunately, we don't. There's no um, seed source for the conifers, so you, there isn't a lot of conifers coming up in the understory. So that was what we're trying to do with our restoration work. Okay. It's really great to see a lot of uh, volunteers come come from all walks of life. We have uh, uh, high school students. We have um, retired folks that um, are looking for a way to get outdoors and it's really great to see all these different people come together to work toward, towards achieving our goals. So what we typically do is that we, um, our group meets uh, regularly on Saturday afternoons. We gather all our volunteers and then we take all of our equipment and head into the, the forest and um, we'll have uh, some eco-team leaders that will direct volunteers what to do. So that would involve, uh, for example, pulling invasive plants. So things like uh, English holly, English ivy. Sometimes we might also be doing some planting. We'll, we'll place out the plants and we'll use our uh, shovels to dig out holes and put our plants in. Um, so the work kind of varies depending on the time of year and what uh, restoration goals that we have. So the kind of things we're looking for would be um, uh, Himalayan blackberry, um, a, a laurel, cherry laurels around here, and then there's also um, holly. Holly is actually the worst one here. Holly is really difficult to remove. We actually um, tried a whole bunch of different techniques to remove it, to actually kill the holly, and it's found that the best thing is to use these bullets of herbicide that you punch it around the, at the lower part of the stem, just near the ground. We tried wringing it it actually just kept growing. It just sprouted out right underneath where you ringed it. So that wasn't very effective. Blackberry is, is not too bad. You can dig it out. You have to dig down deep and get the roots out. And then, oh, and then the other one is ivy, English ivy. And th that one we would be um, cutting it where it's going up, growing up the trees because it will actually strangle trees. Um, and then we're also digging out the roots. So as we notice that there's invasive species coming back, we do want to take those out. So the group will come back here probably, actually they have come back to part of this area just last fall um, to take out some of the invasive, it was actually Himalayan blackberry that was really growing like crazy there. And then we actually planted a little bit more there because as soon as you take out a bunch of blackberry, it is really good to plant something else. visit our website and on our website we have a volunteer uh, form that you could enter and you could tell us uh, what sort of programs you're interested in. We've got education programs and also uh, restoration programs but also citizen science programs and that's how you get involved.
Joyce, can you give me a short rundown of what it was like when you were an eco-team leader here running a restoration event for the volunteers? Yeah. Um... <laughs> no, I'm just thinking of the really I think weird. somebody's using one of those wildlife trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone is. <laughs> yeah, really. No, I, I, There's yeah. a lot of those guys around here. We're hearing a Peleated woodpecker calling, by the way. Thank you. 